The decision by U.S. President Donald Trump to extend sanctions on Zimbabwe by another year has been described as despicable, contemptible and a travesty of justice. 141 entities and individuals, including former President Robert Mugabe and current leader Emerson Amangagwa, are on a U.S. sanctions list. CGTN's Farai Wakatuya reports. According to President Donald Trump, the Zimbabwean government presents an unusual and extraordinary threat to U.S. foreign policy. An absurd claim, according to Zimbabwe, which says it's done its best to re-engage all nations it had fallen out with since the advent of the new dispensation. In a statement issued Tuesday, Permanent Secretary for Information Nick Mangwana said, We have embarked on a policy of rapprochement with the United States and would naturally expect to witness a shift in U.S. foreign policy on Zimbabwe as the logical dividend. But the United States has opted to renew the punitive measures to press for changes to laws that restrict media and protests. Demonstrations over a fuel price increase in January were met by a violent crackdown during which allegations of abuse were leveled against the army. Zimbabwe has promised to investigate the allegations. It claims significant progress in implementing other reforms and holding a free and fair election in July 2018. The country has witnessed the upholding of human rights fundamentals and the liberalization of the media and many other freedoms as enshrined in our national constitution. Despite targeting ZANU-PF linked entities and individuals, the sanctions imposed in 2001 have impacted ordinary citizens. International payments destined for Zimbabwe have been frozen, social programs have been scaled down, and U.S. companies have been discouraged from doing business here. Uh, these sanctions have no doubt affected the lives of our people across the board. A number of industries have closed. As you are aware, unemployment has gone up. But we are saying that we are a sovereign state and we cannot be dictated to by anybody. It must be understood by the Trump administration that there was no justification in the first place for the USA to impose the sanctions over a bilateral historical issue between Zimbabwe and Britain. The latest development is a blow to President Emerson Mnangagwa's government, which had enjoyed support from several African leaders, including South Africa's Cyril Ramaphosa, who have called for the removal of the embargoes to allow Zimbabwe to embark on full economic recovery. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.